Hi guys. So I did a poll on Instagram asking if you want to see zero waste bathroom swaps or if you want to see a life update. So here I am giving you my life update. I also just want to add that some of the topics I'm going to talk about are quite triggering. So I'll leave it up to you guys if you want to continue watching. I don't know where to start. So as you're probably aware, me and Star aren't together anymore. We broke up in November. Um, that relationship wasn't the best and I'm not going to go into it, but it really affected me. About three or four weeks after we broke up, um, I started to realise what had actually happened in that relationship and I don't know why it took me so long to realise how toxic it was. But the good thing is now that I've realised and I'm out of that situation. And when I had that realisation, when it hit me, like, fully, I wasn't sleeping. Like, I would go to sleep at probably, like, 5 o'clock in the morning, wake up at, like, 7. Um, my sleep was all over the place. I wasn't eating. In my New Year's resolutions video, I spoke about only having three meals in one week. And that was pretty much how my life was going. I was losing weight and I was so tired because I wasn't eating and I wasn't sleeping. And I was just not very well. I was drinking almost every night and as you probably know from some of the videos that I've done I was sober um, and I had a bit of an issue with alcohol but um, yeah I started drinking again. I was just so sick of feeling low and replaying all these things in my head and thinking about stuff and I just wanted it all to stop so I would drink and try to forget what was going on. Um, but obviously that wasn't doing me any good. I was feeling suicidal for months and months. Since like September, I've just felt so low and like I didn't want to carry on anymore. But I would always find a way to not get myself out of that headspace but do something to distract me while I was feeling that way. I was just laying in bed, hardly eating, Drinking quite often. My mental health was not good. Um, I didn't even leave the house. Brushing my hair was a chore. Washing my hair, well, that didn't really happen. But I brushed my hair like once every two weeks. Self-care was not a priority for me. It was just surviving the 24 hours in front of me. And that was what I was focusing on. Just staying alive. And... Skip ahead to just over two weeks ago now, um, something triggered me and I overdosed. I have damaged my liver, I don't have liver failure but I have definitely done some damage to it. Your liver aids in digestion and I was getting a really sore stomach um, and it felt really raw, obviously where it, the tablets had gone away at the lining of my stomach. It's feeling really raw and even now it's, it feels uncomfortable but it doesn't feel as bad as it did. But because I've done damage to my liver, obviously, it, that then does damage to other organs. Um, so I'm just kind of eating the right foods to detox it at the minute. When I was in the hospital, they did some tests and then I spoke to a psych and he was really lovely. Like, I've never actually spoken to a psychiatrist that nice. Usually you feel very like you're being rushed and they kind of ask you a question, you answer it, they go on to the next question. He wasn't really asking me questions, he was just letting me talk. And then he was, like, I wasn't really feeling anything, I was just numb. I was so just void of feeling and he was like, wait, I see a bit of anger in your eyes and I was like, really, I'm not feeling anger. And then we was going back and back and back to what we were talking about and he was like, there you go, there's the anger, and I was like, oh my god, like, he was just, he was figuring stuff out that I didn't even know, and yeah, he was, he was a really lovely guy, he said that he wanted to admit me into inpatient, and I freaked out, and said no, and um, he said, but you're not safe, and because, obviously I'd done this to try to kill myself, like, I'd, it wasn't just wanting the pain to stop, it was, I just couldn't deal with this anymore, like, everything was way too much for me and yeah he wanted to put me into inpatient and I didn't want that. 
I knew I'd be safer there and I knew that they would keep a watch over me and I couldn't do anything stupid. Basically he came up with an action plan that if I agreed to do it, he would let me go. And that action plan involved me not living at home anymore, not because of my parents or anything like that, like they've been so supportive and they've been really great. It's just that Star lives next door to me and he said that I can't be in an environment that made me sick. So obviously I moved away from that and now I'm staying at my sister's and he also said to me, there's no way you're going back to that job. Me and Star used to work together. Obviously I've quit there now. I'm not associated with her at all anymore. Um, and that was part of the action plan. So I did those. He also said that I'd need home treatment team, a care coordinator or CPN um, and the crisis team to come out. To be honest, I'm a bit annoyed at <laughs> the whole situation because the crisis team rung me the day after and asked how I was and I said, I'm just really tired. Like, I was just, I was exhausted. I just needed to sleep and they said to me, okay, we'll ring again tomorrow, see how you are and come up to you tomorrow. They rung me the next day, same thing happened. They they rung me the next day, but it's on an unknown number I, that I can't ring back. So they rung me once, didn't leave a message, and then I got a note through the door and said, we've tried to contact you, but there's been no answer. But it was hand posted through the door, there was no stamp or anything. So they were outside my house, but they didn't come in. Anyway, so that, that didn't happen. I, the crisis team still haven't come around, and it's been over two weeks. So if I actually was feeling like a lot worse, I, it's, it's really bad that they didn't check up, but I've had a, a call from first response team and I've had sessions with them over the phone and I've got appointments booked. Um, so that's all moving forward. So as long as I stick to this plan, then hopefully it's all gonna be okay. So I made those changes and I'm now living at Chelsea's and I joke about it being like a rehab here but we have to not have to be in bed early but they go up to bed at like half eight nine so I don't want to stay downstairs by myself like with my own thoughts panicking so I go up to bed at that time so I've been getting early nights so I've Chelsea's been making sure that I've been cleaning my teeth just personal self-care like last night I wasn't really feeling it I was laying in bed and she was like, here, have you cleaned your teeth? And I was like, no, I'm not going to. And then she said to me, P, you need to clean your teeth. Come on. And I was just like, no. I was like, can I have my toothbrush? And she brought it into my room with toothpaste on. And I was like, thanks. So she's been making sure that I've I've been doing like the basic self-care. Um, I'm eating good here. Chelsea's fiance is a yoga teacher. So he's been making sure that I'm doing some yoga. I've been going to his classes. On Sunday, I really did not want to go to this yoga class it wasn't Hudson's it was a different one and I was just like Hudson no, I'm not going he's like yeah you are we're going in like 10 minutes get ready and then we'll go and I was like no I'm not going he said yep and I was just like Hudson no I do not want to do this I just want to lay in bed and he was just like nope you're going come on let's go and I was just like oh my god okay so got my clothes on went to the class loved it but I, re I really enjoyed it it was such a good vibe there and then we went out for lunch after, which was really nice, at this cool little vegan place that we didn't even know existed. And then we got back and Hudson was like, right, we're going on a puppy walk. And I was like, mm, no, I'm not. And then he was like, no, you're coming. And I was like, Hudson, no, please. I just, I'm tired. I just, I can't be bothered. I just want to sit down and chill out. And he was like, no, we're taking the puppies out. Come on. And I was like, Hudson, I've already been to yoga this morning. Like, I've done enough. And he was like, no, that, that's not good enough. Come on, we're going, going to go for a puppy walk. So I went for a puppy walk and I didn't feel better after. I just felt more anxious and tired and my stomach was really sore. But he's been forcing me to do stuff, which is good. I do need to be disciplined and I don't have any self-discipline at the minute. So <laughs> having other people around me encouraging me to to exercise and to eat good food and to have basic self-care like I, that's what I need I need people around me that are, are helping me just get through each day obviously I'm not in the best way mentally I'm still 
still struggling and still trying to find my way. But the progress that I've made these last couple of weeks has just been amazing. So I'm really proud of myself for that. And like before bed, I'm, I'm doing some knitting and reading a book, meditating, like the stuff that I used to do. I'm getting back to the person I was because I lost myself. I've hardly been filming and I love filming. The content I was creating wasn't aligning with who I am. I want to make videos about zero waste and veganism and minimalism. Talk about mental health and struggles and just... I don't know, trying to help you guys in some way. And the videos I've been making recently haven't been that way. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm sorry for that. But I just, I wasn't me, I wasn't myself. But I, I'm getting back to that person like, the other day I woke up and I was actually grateful to be alive. I woke up with a real sense of gratitude and I just felt inspired and it was so weird it was such a weird feeling because I hadn't felt that in so long I hadn't had a happy day since maybe like October like I hadn't actually had a day where I can say like yeah that was good not that I didn't have any happy things happen like I had Christmas I saw my family I've been on trips and like, they are good things, but I didn't actually feel happy. Um, but like right now I do feel a, a lot more myself, much more at peace with who I am. And like, I actually wake up sometimes and I do feel happy. And I feel inspired. And that's what I want this channel to be, I want it to be an inspiring channel, whether that be talking about inspiring things, just talking about struggles that people don't often talk about, just being honest with you and yeah, just helping you. But like, I'm so grateful to be here and <sighs> I will get there, I will get back to the person that I was and Considering how I was a couple of weeks ago, like, I've made massive improvements. Like, I just, I feel happy. I've been sober for 18 days now. Going from drinking every night to that. And I know I was almost sober for two years, but knowing that I've been through that before and that I managed to stay away from alcohol that long, like, there's hope that I can get back to that place. I just want to thank everyone for being so supportive and just reaching out to me. Like even people on Instagram that I don't know and they don't know me have, have just checked in to see if I'm okay. I'm sorry that this video has been negative but you guys did ask for a life update and this is what's been going on. So if any of you are struggling, if you're feeling suicidal, have dealt with abuse, mental health issues, anything that I've spoken about in this video, it does get better. People were saying this to me and I was just like, are you joking? I'm in this really low place, I've got stuff going on. People don't realise the severity of it, people don't understand, and people are telling me it's going to be okay. Like, it, it just feels like people are just saying that. But, honestly, it, it does. It does get better. And sometimes you do need to hit rock bottom to spring yourself back up again. But you've got this, you can do this. You're worthy. Just know that there are people out there that actually do care for you and want to help you get better and aren't just saying that everything will be okay just to say it, like things actually will be okay. Everything is temporary, nothing is permanent and you don't have to be suffering forever. I don't really know how to end this video. <laughs> so I'm just gonna say bye now. <laughs>